Greetings, fellow citizens of this beautiful planet. Okay, patriotism is a lie and just another form of control. Now I'm sure I'm going to strike a nerve with what I'm about to say in this video. Don't get me wrong, I do understand the principle behind support your troops, for they are protecting us from evil. The problem comes with our hypocritical definition of evil. I don't believe the definition should include people who rebel against a rogue military complex. A military that goes to war just to keep themselves busy, devastating all in the name of democracy. <laughs> well, it's working well for us, right? <laughs> Not one has to ask themselves where is the evil? Who are these evil people? Could it be that the evil ones would be those who invade countries, devastate populations, destroy families, lie to their own citizens in order to send them to their death fighting imperialistic wars? just so they can control the resources of others? So again, I ask you, who are these evil ones? We are told to support our country and the leadership thereof. Do not question their motives or you are not a patriot. Well, I guess I'm not a patriot. Oh, boo-hoo. That must make me evil. How can anyone support what these puppet governments are doing? How could anyone be proud of being led like sheep to slaughter? That's right. When you support this puppet government and their so-called leaders, you are all just sheep. We are not required to follow their illegal, inhumane laws or fight their inhumane, self-serving wars. We must take our heads out of the sand, speak out, showing we no longer accept or tolerate their outrageous criminal behavior. These so-called leaders and their puppet masters, the elite, do not in any way deserve our respect or consideration and certainly not our allegiance. We must no longer allow them to turn our children into mass murderers. These grievous, unforgivable, heartless crimes against humanity all in the name of patriotism must stop. So what can we do? Well, we can start by taking our control back. This means taking it away from the elite. The truth is, we are already much more powerful. We have the numbers, and they know it. This is the only thing that really scares them. They, for now, have the military complex. And they will have to convince this military to attack their very own people. We need to prevent this starting by exposing them to the truth, what they are doing, and what the puppet masters are up to. One must remember, for those in the military, this decision is not an easy one. They must be shown, and they must believe there is a better way, and that their families and loved ones will be taken care of. Right now, our government is stealing from everyone just so they can pay their military. <laughs> With fiat currency, I might add. We must show them all a better way, recognizing as we do that these men and women have been brain manipulated, trained to do as they're told. It is drilled into their brains that the government now owns them. I've been there. Most of them accept this as government slaves. 
<laughs> Recall the recruiting ads where these poor young men and women are somehow convinced that what they are doing is admirable? Well, clearly, many of them now know they have been duped, but they just don't know how to get out. This explains the 450 military suicides every single month. We must show them a better way. They must know without a doubt that we will take care of them and their families. They must know they have an alternative. Their alternative is to go AWOL. Going AWOL is the only admirable thing to do when you discover you are forced to kill other human beings under false pretenses. And for those who prefer to kill? Well, I guess we have our definition of evil. Thanks for watching, and for future video uploads, feel free to subscribe. We're going to win this thing.